Hello, Hello everyone. Hello. Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to Hello. Taking a Peek Improv. Today is Christmas. And we're doing a special Christmas episode. Yes. Yes. I hope you're spending it with your loved ones, having a lovely time. And if you're alone, guess what? You're gonna have fun by yourself. And with yes. Us. Yay. Yes. Yay. Yay. We love you. Hey. Yeah, we showed up. We did. We showed on up time, on time, might I add. On time. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nessie, let us know what we're doing today. Okay, so today we are going to be doing an improv game called Infomercial, uh, and we are doing a special Christmas version of this game. So I have asked Sky and Isaac to pick three random uh, items from their household that they may use as props to try and sell an item. They have hidden them from the camera. I don't know what they are. They don't know what they are to each other. You know, uh, so and uh, they're going to try and sell a random item that I will be choosing from a wheel that they don't they don't know anything about. Uh, and they are going to be using the items that they have chosen to convince us as to why we absolutely need to buy this item for our loved ones this Christmas. All right. And at some point I will pipe in from the audience with random questions about the product, whether that's by caller or if, or if I'm in front of them, whatever, whatever they choose to do. Okay. So uh, I'm going to pick from a wheel as to what they are going to sell. All right. Oh my, you are going to be selling a notebook of cringy love poems you wrote in high school. All right. All right, yeah. And we'll see this, see this scene, scene now. now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we are here and we are ready to blast you with this cringy notebook of things I said in high school. I wrote love letters to my lover back when I was just 15. And I've, I've put them into a beautiful notebook for all of you. Yes, and then I sold selling mine as well. I've cat categorized them all by chapter, by dates, uh, by certain people I was on dates with. And, you know, the reason you and the rest of my family want to buy this item because of this. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful. Everybody clap. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. You see, when you're in the mood for something Christmassy and you just, you, you know, you, you want to feel like you're in that right mood, that right mindset, well, you, you can start by reading this book and then just writing down your notes as to what you want to be doing. Uh, and like what you what you think about my book, and you can email those in, and we would uh, respond to you daily. Uh, what other features do we have? I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm not the only one who can write in this notebook. You may have filled yours up, but mine is basically a journal from a child. So I'd like to read from uh, read a passage for you inspired by this candy cane. You are my candy cane. You make my heart light. I love that you are in my life this wonderful Christmas night. Candy cane or candy can't, you go to prom with me, please. It's a lovely story of love, and it comes with this candy cane to send to your lover so they know they candy can have your heart. Uh, yeah, I also uh, wrote a bit of a love letter here for a certain special lover of mine who always left me feeling cold. Frosty. Filled with your fun, frivolous attitude, but frozen in your finical state of being. You know that I will always love you, and your little cute nose. You know that your eyes, as empty as they are, fill me with life 
For I know that, finally, at the age of 14, I'm alive now because of you. No one has ever made me feel so warm and tender as your stiff branches. And I will always love you until the end of Christmas when I'm free to go to summer camp. Thank you. I should also let you all know uh, that this makes a great Boxing Day gift. <laughs> the day after Christmas. I know you're all shopping late. Uh, it's about midnight on Christmas night, so it's a bit late to, to buy your Christmas gifts, but they will be ready for Boxing Day. And you may just think, wow, who wants a box with some cringy notes in it? Well, I'll tell you what, it comes with your own hat. Your own hat? We're, we should be getting calls on the line now. Your own yes. hat! Yes, callers. Are there any callers? Uh, Hello? I'd like to answer them. Hello, yes. yes. Hello. I, I, I think that um, love poems written by your, your high school self would be a wonderful gift for my grandson. I'm just yes. wondering, are, are they age appropriate for a two year old? A two year old? Um, I'm, what I'll about your honest. book? Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest, some of mine are not age appropriate for any age. They are very inappropriate. Um, uh, mind you, I was a child myself. I made some mistakes. All right. We're not all perfect. All right. We're not perfect snowflakes for Christmas. Some of us, we, we, try to express our love through things like hate. Um, so I would suggest maybe you purchase my friends for your two-year-old. Um, maybe this next, uh, I guess you could call it a poem or a love song, uh, might give you an idea of whether or not this is appropriate for uh, a two-year-old. Right, like I, I would say PG, PG-13, you know, but... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, octopus of happiness. Where is the rest of this? The feeling I have inside. So empty. It's like I've cried and cried. But, alas, you are not always the octopus of happiness. No, in fact, sometimes in your sweet caress, I find your heart black and full of spite. And in my heart, I know I'm right. For if you are to be my love tonight, you just have to say goodnight. Because when you are my octopus of happiness, oh, there's so much ha joy and bliss that I want to give you a kiss. And another. And another. But alas, it's like you're my brother. So at first, I must walk away. I just admire you from afar. But just like my brother, your anger and isolation leaves no, no bounds. As you attack those who loved you, around and around, thrashing your tentacles, brandishing your spikes, and telling everyone to get off of their bikes. But alas, I just wish for one last erotic kiss. But alas, indeed, but alas. Uh, what a wonderful poem for my uh, colleague. Uh, 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 turn, oh. Can you put the camera, can you turn the camera back to me? Yes, hello everyone. <laughs> um, uh, I just had a passage myself. Um, I call this do or don't. Um, Holiday or holla night, living in eternal light, lost from you without sight, Christmas, Christmas, and also Easter. Bring to me the greatest feaster. I want to eat your soul tonight. I want to see that you are bright. I want your love because today is the day that I start school. Um, thank you. Um, 
Thank you all for for uh, Ooh, joining us. Do we have another yeah. another question? Do we have time for question? Can we, can we get one more question? Hello. Hi, yes, caller. Hi. Uh, are you interested in in a purchase today? Uh, yes, I I absolutely am, but I just have one question. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are are the pages edible? Um, actually, my version, um, my version is completely edible. Uh, it's it's sustainable, um, and it's made directly for people like you. I, I'm making assumptions, um, well, but yeah. I assume, I assume that you're the kind of person who likes to follow your lover around. Maybe they oh, don't yes. know you're following them. Maybe, maybe you've been stalking them. And, and I want you to know that I approve, all right? Their book may not approve, but my book approves of all forms of love, appropriate, inappropriate, very inappropriate, like yours, painfully inappropriate, or otherwise. Because love knows no bounds, all right? Love is complicated. Let me, let me read you a passage that shows how willing I am to let everything be inappropriate. This is my most inappropriate passage. Mm -hmm. For you, I would walk to the ends of the earth. I would follow you. And see, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, awesome. Thank you all for thank calling you. in. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thanks everybody for coming. Uh, <laughs> and that too. <laughs> I ruined the scene. Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> the scene is ruined. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Uh, I hope you're all having fun with your families and friends uh, tonight. Uh, and it might be pretty late, so you might be back home resting, maybe resting off that, that um, several meats, vegetables, and or starches that you've eaten today. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed. Yeah, we'll see you in our final episode of the season. Ooh. January 1st, workshop with our very illustrious Michael J. Doyle. Yes, and then we will see you again uh, in the new season. Woo! Woohoo! All right, bye everyone. Bye! bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh...